What song made Kanye West popular? How old was he then? Which year was he released? Who was his first album? Who did he first feature? Have these questions and more come to mind? Welcome to Big Break, the channel that answers all these questions and more. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload new videos. Let's begin. Kanye Omar West Popularly known as Kanye West, a nigga named Ye, is an American producer, rapper and fashion designer born on June 8, 1977 in Atlanta, Georgia. He worked as a producer for Rockefeller Records in the mid-1990s. In the pursuit of a solo career as a rapper, Kanye dropped out of school at age 20 as he feared it might be detrimental to his musical career. Despite his success as a producer, West's true aspiration was to be a rapper. Though he had developed his rapping long before he began producing, it was often a challenge for West to be accepted as a rapper and he struggled to attain a record deal. Multiple record companies ignored him because he did not portray the gangster image prominent in mainstream hip-hop at the time. Jay-Z later admitted that Rockefeller was initially reluctant to support West as a rapper, claiming that many saw him as a producer first and foremost and that his background contrasted with that of his label mates. In the end, Damon Dash, co-founder of Rockefeller, reluctantly signed Kanye to the label in 2002 just to make sure he didn't lose him as a producer. West became famous as an adult. However, he began recording music as a young teenager. According to the Chicago Tribune, when West was 13, he wrote and recorded his first song entitled Green Eggs and Ham. He convinced his mother, Donda, to pay $25 for an hour of studio time so he could record the song. While the studio was just a basement studio, West was very excited to be there. In the year 1996, Kanye was first featured at the age of 19 on Line for Line, the eighth track on Chicago rapper Graf's first solo album Down to Earth, featuring both production and verses from Kanye via Correct Records. This album holds his first commercially released work. West's breakthrough came on October 23, 2002. While driving home from a California recording studio after working late, he fell asleep at the wheel, causing a head-on crash with another car. The crash left him with a shattered jaw, which had to be wired shut in reconstructive surgery. In spite of this, two weeks after being admitted to the hospital, he was inspired by the incident and wrote his debut single as a professional solo artist. Through the war, which was recorded while his jaw was still wired shut against doctor's orders. Through the war was released on September 30th, 2003, and it became his first hit song. Following success producing for numerous notable contemporaries like Ludacris, Alicia Keys, Janet Jackson, and Jay Z, he also wrote more songs for his debut album College Dropout while recuperating. In an interview with MTV, can you explain the title of his first album, College Dropout, simply means making your own decisions and not allowing society to tell you what to do. On his personal blog in 2009, West stated that he was most inspired by the miseducation of Lauryn Hill, the debut album of fellow singer-rapper Lauryn Hill while producing the album. It was recorded by Rockefeller Records over a period of four years beginning in 1999. The album features string arrangements, Quas and his signature soul sampling, contrary to the gangster personal lyrics that were so popular in hip hop at the time. However, before the album was officially released, it was leaked online, so he rewrote and revised the songs, making them much better. Finally, the album was released on February 10, 2004, while he was 27. The album comprised of 21 songs in total with five singles, namely, Through the War, his first hit song, Slow Jams, the album's second single, which was released on December 2, 2003, All Falls Down, released on February 24, 2004, Jesus Walks, released on May 25, 2004, and last but not least, The New Workout Plan, which was released on August 31, 2004. 
Other notable songs on the album include Graduation Day featuring John Legend, Never Let Me Down featuring Jay-Z, among others. College Dropouts gave Kanye West his big break as the album debuted at number 2 on the US Billboard 200, selling 441,000 copies in its first week. It was a large-scale commercial success with domestic sales of over 3.4 million copies by 2014, becoming West's best-selling album in the US. The album was also certified four times platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America in 2020. It also won him his first Grammy for the best rap album at the 2005 Grammy Awards. Kanye West's College Dropout has also been named by numerous publications as one of the best albums of all time. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Do you want to know how your favorite celebrity got their big break? Drop their names in the comment section and we will create videos about them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more videos like this. Manabu will see you next time.